year is 2019, a newly crowned IBF World Super Lightweight Champion Josh Taylor has gotten a first taste of golden steel around his waist. Wanting to extend his collection, Taylor has decided to fight the undefeated Regis Prograde for the vacant ring magazine Super Light Welterweight Belt. In a collision of two undefeated warriors with low tactical but high octane and exciting victories, this battle of blood, sweat, and tears will prove who has the stamina, speed, and skill to be the rightful champion of their division that the fans need and deserve. Do you think this man can be intimidated? Yeah, I think he can be. Yeah, I think he can be. You think I'm intimidated right now? Not right now, no. But I think he can be intimidated. Welcome back to Boxing After Dark, where today we will be looking at the explosive and captivating final chapter of the World Boxing Series Tournament. Whilst the tournament had been inconsistent as far as entertainment so far, this was the night everybody had been anticipating. We have two young athletes, one of which a gold medalist in the Commonwealth Games, the other a 24-0 and zero, multiple belt holder who's being hyped up as a potential future grade of the welterweight division. It's the Werewolf Regis versus the Tartan Tornado Taylor, and whilst the Scotsman has the element of air on his side, the odds are stacked against him for his bout with the supernatural terror. It seems to have been a full moon for Regis prior 24 fights, and howls can once again be heard in the distance. But perhaps a natural disaster is in store for him as the wind growls in the distance, swallowing up the outside world. Josh Taylor, Although Young has fought some impressive competition having only had 14 fights, from his very strong display against the undefeated Ivan Baranchik, and a disrespectfully impressive demolition job against the also undefeated Britt Ryan Martin, his curve and progression across opponents seemingly goes up with every fight. Regis, despite having been around only two years longer than Taylor professionally, has had almost 10 more fights, establishing his hunger and motivation to be the best, something that garnered him to be more respected in the community, along with his somewhat common and exciting knockouts. After destroying the WBA light welterweight champion Kiro Relik, it became much harder for people to bet against him going into the final round of the tournament, and for good reason. The damage the werewolf had been dishing out seemed to heighten every time he fought, and there was no reason to doubt that happening once again. I feel like there's no way he can beat me. No possibly way that he can beat me, you know? So, and it's not being cocky or arrogant. It's just, you know, it's just how I feel, you know, because of my skills. The night arrives on a cold November Eve. The fans struggle to contain their excitement as Taylor comes out with energy and bangers blaring. The entrance climaxes as the tuning begins to swirl into the legendary Lux Eterna, a threatening theme for Pro Grey to hear and a warning of the inner darkness that will be on show from the home fighter tonight. Progre lightens the mood as he comes out wearing a tribal mask with his son by his side and some exuberant hip-hop keeping the vibes high. The warriors touch gloves and the fight commences. Nothing to split them on paper. This gentleman is boxing at its very, very finest. Mangles, the really punch, tries one for the body early. Round one opens with a strong start from both fighters. Taylor lands multiple speedy left hooks that Progre can't see coming, and the southpaw style of Josh seems to be something new for Regis but he reacts accordingly and keeps his defense effective while sneaking in jabs when he finds an opening. Popular. And Villa not making a big deal, but 
so evenly matched. You know, Taylor's great. Roberto Duran. And his head off to the side. That's, yeah, he doesn't want that. Come to come a stationary time. That head movement, now you watch it. It's there. Yeah, that to Taylor's head. Right. Taylor dicks into the body shot. Some nice time for the head to finish the round. We just program as we enter the fourth round of this intriguing fight. Magazine belt as well. Brown Scotsman shot. Good jab there from Brogray, doubling and tripling it from, from the shorter reach and able to win it. Body shots too right. shot so close to be jabbing. He just fighter to sit in. Their backhand of him. Regis. Sign of distress. The fighter, you feel if you miss him. Effective. Difficult to care, doesn't he? It's all flowing. Good body shot from Taylor. Heard that one here. Oh, back has at the foul. After an underwhelming first three rounds, Progray opens round four in dramatic fashion as he puts his front foot heavy style to use, landing uppercuts, jabs, and hooks from all angles, and finally pushing back the torment from Taylor. This is uh, brilliant at times from Regis Progray. Surely the jab put some more shots together to him on all the. You know, and he made wide hooks to call. And he just he's missing with a lot of shots from Progray. Get his own back. That's better with the jab. and they're just going over the side. Got the crowd excited. That's better. As they carry on. All southpaw battle here. And sometimes there's a real clash when you get that. But it's class, quality operator. Fine, this is. They did WBO here in Barrios, we saw recently. He spent more than blood from the nose of Progray. And as well, so to be able to just land that jab, as you see there, the double jab, he throws it, and then he got oh, there in the sixth round, the one. Jose Ramirez might argue, but the lightweight in the vision, the passing test of both. Too much for him. And if he can kick Taylor, it really did. Good, good body shot from Taylor. That's the kind of pass it is. It's what you like, but I'm looking at punches landed from Progre. And it's looking good for a nice kind of right hook there from Taylor. Yes, certainly an increase here in tempo. But Josh Taylor, this is what he can do. And we just pulled away very well because we don't need a back. Taylor. Yeah, he's standing in. And not always a busy fight. More urgency from Taylor. Double jab. As well. This is so close. It's been better from Taylor last four. Bite down on that gum shield and deliver the shots. Josh Taylor. He bangs his chest. No sports. It's a double header. Next week it's Katie Taylor in Manchester. Oh, great. Looks so good. Finish the last two. Physical strength that size, he's happy to just lose him. You can see it when he's throwing his point. Uses his physical strength there. Rough control the fight with that shot. Oh, oh good shot from Pro Gray. Gray. Well, As you say, he took it well. Well, we know Pro Gray can punch, and he, he still got to that one. In round eight, Pro Gray seems to finally be fully in the fight as he ducks, dodges, and dives past the majority of what Taylor throws his way, and landing some flashy punches of his own despite having earned a bleed from the nose in the previous round. We enter round number nine, four to go. Certainly shifted towards that big left hand. Big busy. Here comes Taylor again. The, and again, the minerals here. The blood coming from Progre affecting the breathing as well. It up once more to Progre. Yeah, and again, Progre. Body shots of Taylor. And an injection of pace and pressure from Taylor. To be winning these rounds and winning this fight. If he can keep this off. Great round from Taylor. He decided to put the fire on the gas. He decided to work more. Coming on strong. Back, he looks strong now. Good punch oh, from Taylor. You'd certainly like to see this one again. Ty looking bad at Regis Progress. Won't be denied. I look from them as far as I'm concerned. Oh, so it's shot over the net. Taylor just tasting the blood in his back. And he will in the 10th round. Finding Progress easier. In round 10, both fighters seem to have tired themselves out as to be expected by their extremely professional swift performances. The fight once again is being taken by Taylor as he lands the crucial shots needed to steal the rounds. Dave Caldwell's got it level. Spent in the fight, the momentum is all right back, landing hard in that. Trying the step of pro I think the last minute in 10 is going to step on the game. Steal the rest here, steal the rest. Josh Taylor. The scars of time for Taylor. What a battle this has been. Oh, oh this one big hard. Oh, oh, look at this. Big success. And it's Taylor. Big shot from Taylor. Turn there, pro Chances out the flow. Progray's in this terrific 11. After this, so. How on earth do you score that one? I tell you what, just admire it. Progray. Have a 
have we got some late, late drama here in the 12th round? Both parting their feet, swinging from the hip. Battery, you know, you're sitting there, you're concentrating, you're fighting. Start of the fight, but this is now oh, just coming over. Coming from Prodre, and a body shot. He's come alive. He's badly busted up, looking busted up, bleeding him. We are drawing the fight, but now there is a fourth official. Anyway, Michael would be strong. to separate them. Quality competitors, quality athletes, really are leaving it all in their power. As we all have, Progray, big shots going in, Taylor, fighting back. Progray's tank is empty, but he's able to, he's been the busier this round. Big shot for Progray, hats off to the fighters, big time. That was spectacular, absolutely breathtaking. Josh Taylor is lifted and off by Shane McGuigan. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of world-class boxing, a round of applause for these two warriors in the ring. Here are the score totals. 114, 114 even. 115 to 113. 117, 112. The fighting pride of Scotland. And now the winner wins. Super Series Trophy, the Muhammad Ali Trophy. He unifies the division. His tears are ringside. As the winner is announced by a unanimous decision victory, things go from heated to moderate shock by the public when the new king is crowned. Josh Taylor has beaten the odds in the critics by showing the fighter he has inside of him, beating Pro Gray effectively despite the criticism of his dirty punches and lack of point deductions. Pro Gray's being a stand-up opponent stays respectful in defeat despite there being good reason for him to question the decision um you know it was a close fight you know i, I know he was at home so i pretty i'm pretty sure it was gonna be real i know it's gonna be close but i mean the better one the man the better man won tonight so it's cool in the years since this magnificent fight taylor and progress have both had extremely successful careers and despite some questioning whether taylor's win on the night against progray was a fluke many believe him to still be the rightful victor something you'd have to assume is comforting to Josh, seeing as Taylor finally received his first official loss against the showboating, masterful fighter that is Teofimo Lopez just last week. Despite many claiming this loss to be the end of Josh Taylor and a reality check for his skill level, we at Boxing After Dark believe this should give the young Josh Taylor a sense of empowerment. Due to the high amount of pressure riding on each fight since the Regis victory, Taylor can finally take a step back and reevaluate his future in the sport and what he wants to achieve now after having become a unified champion in his respective division. Regis Progre, refusing to let his career spiral like many talents before him, has gone on to knock out all of the opponents that have faced him in the three years that have passed, many of which extremely talented fighters. Showing contempt for losing his spot at the top, Many want to see him rise and find continued success in the future. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more from Boxing After Dark, feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't be afraid to drop a like and comment. Thank you for watching.